Arabella, morning. Good morning. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. Excellent. Lovely to meet you. Um, now, just very quickly, just to introduce you, Arabella uh, Thring from Neurobalance Centre. Um, been working with School Notices for a bit, and we're just very keen to get a little message out to all of our members and anyone else who's spots this on YouTube and all the rest of it. Um, just to explain a little bit more about uh, the Neurobalance Centre, what you do, why you do it, who should be using it, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So, so maybe that's just a really basic first question. What is Neurobalance Centre, and and you know what do you do? So Neurobalance Centre is myself and Anne Marie. So there's just two of us. Right. And what we do, really, in a nutshell, is we work. We help children with learning difficulties. So it's it covers a wide range. So there might be dyslexia, dyspraxia, um, slow processing. But we're not, um, I think we're very uh, clear to say that we don't diagnose, but we're looking at the root causes of these things. Okay. And what, and on a personal note, what, what inspired you to set it up? Um, I have uh, various members of my family who have learning difficulties. And I think seeing them really struggle, um, you know, started me thinking, you know, what's going on and what can I do to help really? And I think Anne-Marie is the, is the same um and so yeah so it's quite a personal thing and i also think it's like it's like once you have someone and you know somebody then suddenly you look around and you think my goodness there are so many children with this yeah um you know and my background is is holistic and i you know i'm trained in mindfulness and homeopathy so i very much uh, believe that you need to look at the whole whole picture which is what we're trying to do you yeah know? amazing and, and so sort of of the moment i mean it's very much it's very mm -hmm. prevalent at the moment and there's loads of yeah. outside influences affecting children of all ages exactly. um, and so what sort of difficulties do you do you treat um difficulties from things like anxiety and overwhelm to children who have difficulties reading focusing attention balance coordination i mean it's really a big range of things because it, you're dealing with the body and so it affects you know lots of different things really yeah mm. And what are the signs if I was a parent? I mean, I've got older boys now who mm -hmm. hard to get any signal of anything out of them, if I'm honest. But, um, <laughs> you know, when, when should I when should parents be concerned? You know, what are the signs that something's not right? Well, I often think parents know on some level they know it's almost as if so if in school, for example, you think, well, my child is intelligent, but somehow their results, they don't you know, they're just not managing at school. They, they, they can't they're not reaching their potential potential or it's things like you know they they really struggle with games and their co coordinations all over the place they they really can't focus and they fidget and they want to learn but why you know why is it that children you know want to learn but they a lot of them can't focus and concentrate yeah. um you know so it's it's things like that okay and and how the the, the treatments the courses you run they are yeah. all face-to-face -face or are they are online or are they on location or how does that work? So our, our centre is in Somerset. So a lot of children come and see us, but also, I think also because of the last year, we've started to offer them to people far afield as well and do it online. So it's a mixture. It's yeah. either. Mm. Okay. And how, how long before you notice, you know, this kind of effects it of the is. treatment, if you like? Um, it really depends. It can be anything from a, a, a sort of couple of weeks into doing what we do, and it can take as long as three, four, five months. Because I think it's important, because what we're doing is we're rewiring the brain through movement. Right. And I think that's really important to say. What we're doing is we're, we're helping the body to find ease. And there's things called uh, reflexes, primitive reflexes and which are really, really important. And they help the fetus navigate the birth canal. They help the baby start do its first movements, you know, start to sit up, to push, to crawl. And what we're really working with is what often happens, and it can be because of a traumatic birth, it can be because of a lot of C-sections. These babies, these children, small children, babies, don't do these movements, they don't complete them. So what this leads to developmental delay, so difficulties in reading and holding a pencil in focusing um, in being able to uh, that. So they're very easily overwhelmed. So what we're doing effectively is taking the body back and we redo these movements that for some reason they haven't completed and we integrate them. And then suddenly there is balance. They can, 
you know, they can read their, their coordinations better, they're less overwhelmed, they can, you know, it has such a big, um, big effect. Yeah. Very, mm. and, and what sort of age are we talking about here? So, so how far, how old can you be before you can go back a certain time? You know what I mean? Can you go, yeah, yeah. what sort of age do you, do you take on people? Well, we we see we largely do children so sort of seven or eight is probably the the sort of age that we see yeah. but having said that and it's easier with children i think you can still treat adults you can work with adults it just takes longer because the patterns of movement are more ingrained in the system yeah um so children are easier to work with but it doesn't mean you can't work with adults and i'm mean. guessing Mm. from an ignorant perspective i'm guessing that age group the seven to eight that's when they first go into maybe prep school and a yeah. big educational environment and there's a bit yeah. more pressure and yes that's the stuff so it's quite a formative age yeah and that's often i think when people notice it is that age then they you know because when they're younger you can think oh it's not quite right but maybe but it'll get better and suddenly you think it should be better by now and they're struggling so i think it's a really helpful age and also I think what we see is suddenly when the pressure goes up in secondary school that's when they really start to flounder so what we're really trying to do is get them at that age so they don't have that overwhelm and you know yeah pressure gets gets more mm. and what okay this is the left field question slightly mm. you, without mentioning any names can you just give me an example of someone you've helped yeah the process and then and what the results were you they started with and ended with okay let's have a think so we had one boy who found it very difficult to concentrate and focus um he really loved sports and loved football but he would avoid it because he just couldn't do it right um he was his behavior was he was difficult he was pushing all the time um and he was anxious and he hated reading you know, he liked the stories, but he hated reading. He found it really difficult. Um, and so we, and so slowly within sort of the first couple of months, and we've had lovely um, emails, because what we try to do as well is we want to follow them through so the parents and get the feedback as well, which is lovely. Yeah. And so he, you know, he, from, from hating football, he now loves football because it's there's ease in the body and he can do it. He now really enjoys reading. He's gone up, you know, two bands in school and reading. He's, you know... Um, his his behaviour has improved because he he finds things easier, so he doesn't need to push. He's less overwhelmed. So it has, and and the and then the family relationship. He's not pushing with his dad so much, and that yeah yeah. So it has wide ranging effects, I think. And it sounds so. I'm not not belittling it. It's a really simple kind of solution in a way, isn't it? Mm. It's just mm. kind of resetting your yeah brain and your body to to yeah. catch up again. Yes, and we also some some children, especially children who have ADHD and everything also have gut problems. So in the same way, there's an, there's an immaturity in their central nervous system. There's also an immaturity in the gut. So also we look at working with the gut. You know, there's a lot of talk now of the gut being the second brain. So that's yeah. another kind of piece of the puzzle that we look at. Um, and hearing as well, the hearing mechanism. We, do, we look at a lot of children have hypersensitive hearing. So that again makes um focusing harder concentrating harder um slow processing so as well trying to sort out their um hearing profile can also be and like and i'm guessing uh i'm guessing this is much better done face to face i'm guessing covid wasn't brilliant for you in terms of how you can interact with the child or does does it not really matter well i think it's like anything you you can you know over zoom it's surprising what you can do yeah you know i mean i like doing it in the center because i like you develop a relationship with the child yeah. and you see the progress in front of your eyes and that's really rewarding i think and and but you know you you have the same um benefits doing it um at a distance i just think it's probably not um i like the interaction with the children and getting to know them and you don't get that to the same extent you yeah. know through the screen Totally. And I'm guessing it's by it's per child, if you like, or very child dependent, but the number of sessions you need to get through an issue or whatever it is, I guess that's totally case specific, is it? Well, it is and it isn't. So when we do it in the centre, we do an intensive programme, which is 10 days right. for the neurodevelopmental and the listening. Whereas when you're doing it on remotely, some people want to do it, parents, the, the hearing program is still, the auditory is still done over 10 days. It has to be done that way. Yeah. But the, the, the movement, the neurodevelopmental stuff, you can just take your time and do it more slowly. And that suits some people better. Yeah. 
Brilliant. And, and, these, and these intensive courses, people come and stay with you or do they stay nearby or how does they that stay work? nearby? So, yeah. I mean, some people live nearby, but if not exactly, they stay nearby for 10 yeah. days. Yeah. And they Brilliant. Can... I mean, I think, I think it's, it's really fascinating and it's an area which is, you know, mm. I think with everything that's going on with mindfulness and all the rest of it uh, yeah. in schools, uh, I think it's a really interesting uh, business and uh, we're delighted to be working. If, if people wanted to get in touch with you, what's the best way to get in touch with you? uh email us or look at our website and then there's email there you can contact us or and telephone number all the details are there i can't and remember. and the way <laughs> you think <laughs> and, and the website address so it's www.neuro-balance-center.co.uk brilliant okay arabella we'll, we'll leave it there it's really fascinating and nice keep, keep up the good work i think it's i think it's absolutely brilliant and uh, people should definitely be getting in touch if they've got issues thank you nice all right lovely to see you bye bye Bye-bye.